Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Akila, also known as Keila Amazing. And today I'm coming at y'all with another video about this wig from Aruki Hair, the infamous Amazon wig that we all know and that we all love. They were kind enough to send me another wig to review. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And today I'm gonna be sharing with y'all how I achieved this color, how I did these wand curls, and we're gonna see if this hair reverse back. Before we start, y'all be sure to check out the two previous videos I did about this wig. One is the initial review, and then I also did a twist out on this wig. So I'll definitely link those down below in the description description box so yeah let's go ahead and get right on into it this is the wig it is 22 inches this time around in my previous videos I was working with a 16 inch wig and this wig has a silk top closure so no laying or slaying throw it on and go girl but we are going for a honey blonde color and to do that i'm using clairol's textures and tones and honey blonde i do have a video that i made many years ago on how to achieve this color which i'll link right here but right now i'm just sectioning off the hair and i'm just going to apply the hair color i'm simply going by the instructions on the box so i did apply the hair color to the tips first so that they could be just a little bit lighter and from there i'm just gonna go ahead and apply more of the hair dye and bring it upwards and initially i did end up using only two boxes of hair dye After letting the hair sit for about 30 to 40 minutes, I then applied some foil to the hair so that we can get that color lifted. I'm now going in with my Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Shampoo. This was actually the last little bit that I had left, so I did go in with Dove's Amplified Textures Shampoo. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the conditioner that came with the hair color. And this is the amount of shedding that I had. Not much at all. Next, I'm going in with Shea Moisture's Wigs and Weaves Collection Mousse to make those curls pop. You know, get some definition going on. And I let that sit overnight. And this was the result. It was definitely pretty, definitely chocolatey, definitely brown. I did end up only using two boxes of hair color, but I decided that I want to go a little bit lighter. So now I'm going back in with that last box that I had. And this time around, I'm going to use this color booster. I did not realize that this was in the previous boxes that I used. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm also gonna add some 40 volume developer just because I just had it laying around. I'm like, you know what, we experiment in. So I'm just applying that to the hair once again and letting it sit. Y'all, it was so much easier doing this on a table than using my wig stand. Like, I don't know why I didn't think to do this before. So much easier, so much more convenient. But I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit on the hair for the same amount of time, about 30 to 40 minutes. And this was the final color definitely more of what i was going for for sure so once again i'm going back in with that conditioner letting that sit for about 30 minutes or so and washing it out and then going back in with the mousse and we're gonna go ahead and slap this bad boy onto my head the color turned out beautifully I am so deep in my brown girl era right now and I just love the highlights and the different tones of this hair dye and how it came out. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and shape it up just a little bit, frame those bangs and boom, here we go. I said it before and I'll say it again, I absolutely love the closure on this wig. It's the perfect everyday slap it on and go wig and overall like yeah this wig is that girl that girl but we gonna take it up a notch and we are going to wand curl this wig so i'm first taking this heat protectant i'm going to apply that all throughout the hair and then i'm going to grab my blow dryer and my wet brush and 
blow dry the hair out i'm simply just using my new made curling wand and just adding curls to the hair i'm not even gonna lie the process was so long to achieve this look but it was so worth the time i love how these wand curls came out with the color and this just goes to show how versatile this wig is truly so overall i love this wig and just me experimenting with this wig in so many ways just made me fall in love with it even more like look at these curls now keep in mind if you do decide to color the hair the curl pattern will loosen up just a little bit but as this is my secondary aruki hair wig i did not mind that and if y'all are wondering if the hair reverted back after i applied heat look at this y'all see it the curls are back if y'all would like to see that process head over to my tiktok where i posted a separate video i would 10 out of 10 recommend this wig it will be linked down below in the description box down below in the comments y'all let me know if you prefer this wig in its natural texture or wand curled thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see y'all in the next one